Sudoku Jigsaw by Constructors Entertainment is a unique little Sudoku game, part of a series of Sudoku puzzles with a twist. In this one, rather than the usual 3x3 grid of 3x3 boxes, you have a network of little puzzle pieces in each level. Each puzzle piece is made up of 9 boxes. The usual rules of Sudoku apply. That is, there must be one of each digit from 1 to 9 in each row, column, and box. Except in this case, the boxes are irregular. You need to practice thinking in an unusual way in order to solve these puzzles. The controls are pretty simple. Click on a box with the mouse to open a dialogue with the digits, and left-click to choose a digit for that box, or right-click to pencil a digit in if you're not sure of its final position. Alternatively, you can use the keyboard keys to enter the numbers, using shift to pencil them in, but you still need to use the mouse to move around the grid. To the right of the grid is a display showing how many of each digit remain in the puzzle. You can also click these numbers to highlight the ones that have already been entered, an advantage over doing the puzzles on paper. The game also highlights all the boxes on the grid that are relevant to the box you're currently looking at, so around your cursor you'll see a highlighted vertical and horizontal line, as well as all the boxes in the puzzle piece you're currently in. Peaceful music plays while you think, and the settings menu contains all the options you're likely to need for a game like this. Overall, it's a pretty well-made little Sudoku game. If you enjoy Sudoku puzzles and want to try something different, it's an interesting challenge. If you're not already interested in Sudoku, however, there's nothing about this particular game that will draw you in. When it comes down to it, it's still pretty much just Sudoku. That'll be it for this review of Sudoku Jigsaw. If this game isn't your cup of tea, don't worry. I'll be back soon with another little indie game, and who knows, that one might just turn out to be your new favorite. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.